Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Pollock. I hope that it is sunny where you are. It's not sunny where I am, but I know it's sunny somewhere. I'm going to talk to you today on a short video about the Mulvey method. Um, it, it, a student of Mr. Lerner's came up with this idea, and so that's why it's called the Mulvey method, because her name was Mulvey. Her last name was Mulvey. Anyhow, this is a method to compare quantities when the amounts of the variables in that quantity changes. The best way to explain it is just to do a couple of them, and then I'm sure you'll catch on. So, my first question is, what happens to the kinetic energy when the mass doubles? So what you do is, you write old, and you write new, and you write the equation for kinetic energy. One half mv squared, kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So, in my old, all of the numbers and all of the variables are always one because it's easier to compare things to one. So my kinetic energy is, instead of a half, I put one because it doesn't change. The mass is one and the velocity is one. So my kinetic energy is one because things are easy to compare. Um, it's easier to compare things to one. So in my new, my kinetic energy one half didn't change, so I keep it at one. My mass changed, it doubled, so now it's two. My velocity didn't change, so now that's one squared. So now my kinetic energy is two times the amount that it was before. Okay, so you're saying, well, I get that. That's pretty easy. I could do that in my head. Of course you could, but Things can get more complicated. I wanted to start out with an easy one. All right, so now the second one is what happens to kinetic energy when the velocity is doubled? So again, I'm gonna write old and new. As you get better at this, you might not have to write old and new, but I'm doing it in the complete manner so you can understand how this works. So again, I'm comparing things to one. So my one half doesn't change, so that's one times one times one squared. So my old kinetic energy is one because it's easy to compare things to one. My new kinetic energy, my one half didn't change, my mass didn't change, but my velocity doubled. So my new kinetic energy is four times the amount that it was. See how this works? So if you change a couple things, you can change more than one variable. All right, the last one I'm gonna do is what happens to the length of a pendulum when the period is doubled? All right, so old and new. You might realize by now that the old is always gonna be one, so you could just put one down, but I'm gonna do the whole thing. So the period of a pendulum is two pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum divided by little g. Okay, now I'm gonna rearrange this. So I have L because that's what I want. I want the length. So the L is little g times the period of the pendulum divided by two pi squared. That's algebra. I rearrange that equation. You might want to do that by yourself because College Board likes you to manipulate variables. So my old one, the length, little g, is it doesn't change, so that's one times one over one times one squared. And you may have guessed that I like to compare things to one, so my length starts out as one. And my new length, little g doesn't change. My period doubles, two stays the same, pi stays the same, so now my length is four times the original amount. All right, that's the Mulvey method. You may find that you can find shortcuts as you begin to understand how to do that. I hope you guys have a great day and the sun starts to sh uh, shine soon. Take care, bye.